ultimately. So right now we're just trying to understand what it means to solve it and what the solution might look like, and that, that's what <coughs> led us to, to matrices. Uh, but later on, you, can, you, you should actually be able to solve it. Okay. So, so that's what we, we are talking about, uh, and we are talking about uh, multiplication matrices, and this time in the most general setting. So we do know how to multiply matrices in general, and we've done it many times by now. Uh, they were just uh, uh, limited in size, and you want to uh, you wanna just set up the formula that uh, uh, applies to any size of matrix. Okay, so right now we have two matrices. So this is uh, uh, n by m and m by k. In, the, in that order, we're going to multiply them. Uh, the notation here is also important, as, as you can see, um, the, the, the double indexed array of, of numbers and the uh, different letters used for different indices, unless, uh, naturally, when you multiply two, two matrices, then the, every row of the first will be aligned with every column of the second. That's why I'm using the same letter to indicate the index for those two. Okay, so I, J, J, P. Okay, even though if you just to put two matrices aside from each other, one is here, one is there. Okay, so okay, so there is no reason for them to to have uh, the same index used for uh, for column rows, whatever. Uh, uh, so they, the the we only, I only do that because we're going to multiply them. Okay, so um, uh, okay, so so how how we do it? One one entry at a time. One entry of the output at a time. Okay, so fix i and p, uh, meaning i row and uh, i row, i row in c, j column. I'm sorry, a p p p column. I row in c and p column two in c. Okay, so that's what it means to fix it. Uh, okay, because that's how we compute it. But then the fixing I throw in C also means fixing I throw in A. Okay, that's what that's what you see there. And I colored them in green. Uh, I throw in, in C as well as I, I throw in A. And then uh, a P column in B and in P uh, is once again visible. But uh, in the in the uh, in C there there is a it is the same matrix. Uh, there is one row and one column. What does it mean? It means that we are we having looking at one entry, whole entry, so um, uh, uh, CIP. Okay, uh, but uh, as far as A and B are concerned, we only fix one row and one column. Okay, so, uh, so let's try to write these formulas. So, so what I'm talking about here is, is this. So I'm talking about, let's look at A first. So it will be uh, I is the first index, so it will be, uh, and it is fixed, I1, I2, I, what's the last one? The dimension is M. Okay, so what is this? Uh, this is the, oops, this is my row. Okay, so this is my row. So from the whole matrix, I extracted, extracted, extracted one single row. Okay, now let's do the same with the uh, with B. So I'm uh, uh, so the this time the second index is fixed. So it will be B uh, one P B two P B M P. So that column that you see uh, as a diagram on the right, uh, uh, at the top, uh, right now I just wrote all the uh, names of all the, in, uh, of all the entries. So, so as, well, what I'm trying to say here is that there is, a, there is more to, the rest of the matrix goes, all of these two matrices, goes to the left, to the right, up and down, and to the right. And there is some stuff there, but we, for the time being, we ignore it. So there, there are more columns there. There are more rows there here. Okay, like this. 
Okay, and now, uh, so we certainly know that we're gonna where we're gonna end up, but now, now, now we just carry out that dot product, and so let's do, let's just write. So I have my C I P here, and what is it equal to? It is a uh, dot product of those two. So let's how we do it one one at a time, uh, one one um, entry at a time. So we pair them up. So the first entry will be multiplied by the first entry, and so on. Okay, so we're moving simultaneously. So if you have two hands, you're moving on the uh, on the left uh, with the left hand, uh, the the first matrix on the right, the second matrix. So it's like this. Okay, left right with your left hand, top to bottom with your right hand. Okay, so and then we just write it out, write 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 it up. So it's A I one times B one P plus A I two b to p and so on and the last entry is a i m times b m p that's it so that that is our formula okay so um just to make sure, so so certainly uh, the ideas came from from before. So I, I don't want to explain trying to, try to figure out why we do it the way we do it. Uh, again, uh, the uh, if you have uh, uh, sizes of matrices are arbitrary, uh, then that that's what you end up with. I still want to demonstrate that. I guess an indication that this is not made up. We could just. Uh, um, Okay, we can carry out this computation uh, just just to, to just to remind you that uh, how it works out in Excel, and there is a there is a function for that. So just let's as a demonstration. So I have uh, 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 say one two three four zero two. So it's a uh, uh, six dimension is six m is six, and I'm multiplying it by say also six. So it's four. Okay, so that's the second uh, vector, and so so there is a there is a function that I'll put it say over here. It is equal to instead of that product, it's called the sum product. So sum product of, and then I enter I enter two arrays as two variables. One array like this, six entries, comma, second array. Close. Okay, so you see you see the function. So the uh, uh, the input variables of this function of two variables are arrays, uh, and uh, as long as they they match up by size, uh, they will be <coughs> multiplied by one just one by one just the way we did, and then added together. So in, in other words, it's not it's not like how you do it. What we just we, I saw I wrote in algebra it is well, the point of this is uh, this this. This formula at the bottom is what's behind the sum product formula. Okay, so so enter in that. Okay, why didn't it work out? Why didn't it work out? Sum. Hmm. Six entries. Six entries. Sum product. Hmm. Uh, um. Hmm. It might might be simply the maybe they don't understand the vertical versus horizontal. Maybe they both have to be both vertical or both horizontal. Well, if it is the case, then it's too bad. Uh, so let me try to do it. So let me try to change this second entry. There's a second entry over here. And to this. Okay. Okay, so, so yeah, it does not understand what we want it to understand. So it only multiplies two vectors by some product if they both of them are columns or both of them are rows. So too bad. Um, so then it, uh, it it's not good for using it as an illustration as as, as I hoped. Um, anyway, so that's the formula at the bottom. There is a way to write it in a more compact way. So let me maybe if you remember remember the sigma notation. Okay, sigma. 
So CIP is equal to what? There are the whole thing, the, the, uh, the how many indices we have at the same time, three, three indices, okay? So, so A with some indices, B with some indices, two and two here, okay? Uh, okay, so what, what do I have here? Summation is over what index? Uh, I, yes, I from 1 to M, okay, and uh, and then I just put that I where it, be where it belongs, no, hold on a second, uh, no, it's not over I, summation over, well, there, no, there is no, uh, I is taken, I is on the left, so no, this, this isn't I. You see the I on the left, this one, this is I, I and P are, are taken, I and P are fixed. You have to look at the one that is that varies, and it does not have a well. It does have a specific name, right? <coughs> if we go all the way back, uh, as you can see, it is uh, the index was called J, right? Okay, so we we do summation over J, as a matter of fact, um, and um, uh, and then and then just what's left. So whatever whatever varies, as you can see, the uh, if you look at the very first entry, uh, it is AI one. 1p, which means that the one, the uh, adjacent indices matched, and they keep changing. So from 1, 1 to 2, 2, and in the end, mm. So it will be i, j, j, p. So that's the same formula only written in the, in the sigma notation. Okay, so there is really not, not, nothing much, uh, no, not, nothing more to it. Yeah. Uh, so, so one one thing to watch out for is uh, um, is uh, well, let's see if we need anything. So the, the formula is complex, and so whenever we reach that point, when we study the actual algebra of, of matrices, uh, this is the formula that we're going to use. And the, uh, the algebra of matrices uh, means uh, what, what um, uh, things such as, um, uh, well, all the property that we know about <coughs> algebra will come up. So, uh, so remember the, the, if you remember the properties of numbers so that we reviewed, and then we use them to have properties of the algebra of vectors. Uh, so in a similar way, uh, things will appear, uh, such as, uh, say, um, a, uh, the, scale, um, the, um, the um, associativity. Now yeah, think about it, this one. That, uh, associativity. associated to a matrix multiplication, then there's a constant uh, multiplication, which is a simpler version of it, say lambda a, b is equal to, remember these, lambda a, b. So this is also associativity, but the scalar associativity. But the, the first one is especially, uh, especially interesting. And then the, uh, what we haven't talked about yet, just yet, but there will be also the distributive property as well, because uh, it, it, the, um, um, the uh, uh, matrices can be added together as well. Uh, they can be added. They can be multiplied uh, by, by, uh, by scalars. Uh, we, we only looked at this uh, up, up, to, uh, up to now. We only look, uh, looking at these uh, multiplication of matrices because that's what we, we care about the most. It is, uh, it is exemplified by the multiplication of a matrix, matrix by a vector, which is that left-hand side of our mat matrix equation, for s which is the result of converting uh, systems of, of linear equations. Okay, so, so that is so far as far as we go, but the, this, the algebra is incomplete if we don't look at the, the, rest, of the, uh, the rest of the operations of matrices. This is the, the, uh, the reason for the existence of matrices, is matrix multiplication, but there, there, is, uh, there is more to it. Uh, so all of that will, be, will, be, uh, will have to come back to, uh, but uh, um, 
uh, not just uh, there, there are some more pressing issues. Uh, but before that, uh, let's let's make sure that we understand what uh, what this means uh, in terms of um, uh, in terms of first uh, the uh, what matrices we can or cannot multiply. We already discussed that. Did we discuss? So uh, the, the they have to match. The intermediate d dimension has to match in order to be able to multiply. Now, if we go back to uh, to uh, uh, systems of equations, now uh, we we haven't looked at at that. Uh, in a while, um, we only looked at specific lower dimensional matrices, but now um, uh, lower dimensional systems. But now every, um, n by, uh, what is it? Well, matrices with uh, well n by m, n by, n by m matrix uh, produces uh, a system of linear equations. So let's go backward. If we understand sequences now, uh, I'm sorry. If we understand the matrices now, we can we can just as well use it to build uh, a high-dimensional uh, systems of, of of linear equations. So uh, the uh, fortunately everything matches perfectly by design, obviously. So if you have a matrix and you have n by m like that, so uh, so n rows, m columns, it is n rows, and well, what does it correspond to? Uh, it will be n equations, m variables. The only thing that's missing from the equation is the is the right hand side. So if this is my my matrix A. That what I do is I, I form uh, the the left hand side of my equation A times x, where x is made of uh, m variables, meaning what. Um, uh, meaning uh, what x equal to x1, x2, xm. Mm. So it is an m-dimensional vector, which is the unknown of our uh, of our um, uh, of our system of equations. Uh, and then, like I said, the what's missing part is the right-hand side of our matrix equation, which is, however, it's also a vector. What's the dimension of the vector? Is it one by n? By n, that's right. So it does not, remember, it does not match the, the dimension of the uh, unknown variable. So you can't have <coughs> more variables than, uh, uh, than equations and vice versa. So once again, so matrix A that you see any collection of numbers written that way, and uh, and then uh, um, you you create create a system of equations uh, uh, in literal in, in literal sense. So we, we know based on what. Uh, so it's based on uh, it, it is based on matrix multiplication, where of of matrix multiplication of what A and X. X is here. A is over there. Um, this is my matrix A. Okay, so so whatever it is filled with uh, is matrix multiplied by uh, by X, and that will create uh, create a, a, a system. So let, let's carry it out this one more time. Um, some made up thing. So A is equal to say um, three by four. One two three zero one two. 0, 1, maybe 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Um, okay, so this, suppose this is my matrix. Okay, then what else is there? X is, uh, to be multiplied, will have to be a four-dimensional. So N is equal to, here is a, N is equal to 3. M is equal to 4. Okay, so then X is M-dimensional. So it is 4. X1, X2, X3, X4. So remember, we started with... Uh, uh, unknowns no, uh, called x, x, y, x, y, z. Okay, now at some point uh, that is not going to uh, do uh, for us anymore because we, there are no limits to, to dimension. So we uh, put uh, uh, subscripts on, on those variables. So uh, this time there are four. And then b, uh, that is a three-dimensional vector. And um, it is just a, uh, just a, just a, a vector uh, of, of, of with uh, three 
enters. And now I just uh, form uh, uh, my equation. So let's, let's, but based on matrix multiplication, how I just write out what AX is. So my equation is certainly is AX equal to B. You remember that one? Uh, but then we, what we do is we actually carry out the, to confirm that, that everything works out, uh, we confirm it by, by carrying out this multiplication. So uh, it is really uncomplicated. So in comparison to what we just saw, it is, uh, you, you just uh, you pick row, one row at a time, which will be an equation eventually, and, uh, uh, and, and just uh, uh, distribute those axes among those entries. So like this. Uh, this one goes here, and this one goes here, here, and here. Okay, so you, you distribute uh, the unknown, uh, the, the entries of uh, the uh, unknown uh, among the each row of the, of the matrix. So it will be simply uh, x1, 1 times x1, plus 2 times x2, plus 3 times x3, plus 0 times x4. Okay? So purely uh, multiplication matrices, which is, uh, produ produces, uh, gives us the uh, three-dimensional vector because there are three rows, and each time we c I carry out the exact same thing. Now I'm distributing the same four unknowns among the uh, entries of the second row. So I have 1 times x1 plus 2 times x2 plus 0 times x3 plus 1 times x4 one more time among the third row it will be negative 1x1 plus 0x2 plus 1x3 plus 1x4. Okay, so that is the right left hand side of our equation, uh, of our matrix equation, right? And then I move on to B. And so this is supposed to be equal to just my matrix B. I'm a vector B101. And then what? Uh, I, I so at this point, at this point, so this is a matrix equation because, well, because there is a matrix, that's the only reason. Uh, the, this uh, is a vector equation because there is no matrix. And we do have a vector on the left and a vector on the right, and the two vectors are, any two vectors are equal to each other whenever all of their components are equal to each other accordingly. So, so then I'm converting into equations, so it will be 1x1, well, let me just copy, so I wouldn't have to do it the <coughs> time, so I just take this whole thing over here and put it here somewhere. Uh, so I uh, just erase what I don't need, right? So erase this, that, and I need more ones, um, uh, equal, equal signs, that's all. Okay, so, and that's my system. It's this system of, I would say, what? Numerical equations. So back and forth, all the way, so from system of uh, uh, numerical equations to vector equations to matrix equation and, and, and back, which, whichever is more appropriate. So the meaning of, of that matrix, matrix, matrix equation is, is still the, uh, what we have at the bottom, I put the brace here to emphasize the point. They have to be satisfied simultaneously. Uh, but uh, matrix equation can be interpreted in the exact same way, and it is uh, uh, the advantage is not only because it's compact, it is it is actually reveals uh, that that is, is just so cumbersome. You can it's hard to even think about what what could be possible behind that. Uh, uh, those equations. So all the analysis that we have done so far is, is to reveal that indeed that uh, this is all we care about and uh, uh, matrix is nothing but a function of a particular, uh, particular kind and, uh, and then x is a known vector, b is a known vector and we need to find x, that's all. Okay, so, so when you put it this way, it doesn't, sound, that doesn't seem so intimidating. Uh, any equation of this kind, it is a little bit intimidating. So uh, certainly, uh, unfortunately, it does not help us with actually how to solve equations. We did not even try, even, didn't even attempt to, to figure out how we solve these equations yet, uh, matrix equation otherwise. So and we will still postpone it, uh, but rather approach it in a more elementary way to solving equations. Uh, and that is just what would you do with the solving equation like that? How would you solve it?
Yes. Elimination. Yeah. Yeah, elimination one variable at a time, by the way, you're going to end up with, a, you're not going to eliminate all of them in this, in this system because you have only three equations. So, uh, so you can guess that there will be a, a probably uh, what uh, there there will be one um, what is it uh, there there will be um, well, well we'll we'll see examples of that we know that uh, when you have uh, too many variables versus uh, number of equations the uh, the the likely out, out outcome is that uh, your your solution will be uh, will be not a point, but there will be infinitely many answers. So that that is uh, it's pretty much guaranteed. Well, not guaranteed. It's still possible that uh, it might have no solutions. Okay, because even two equations and 100 variables, it's still possible that those two equations are contradictory. Okay, so so it's, it's still possible that you end up with nothing. So until you solve the equations, you, it might be hard to uh, to anticipate what's what's the 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 output. So, uh, so the um, so elimination and uh, manipulation of the formula substitution is what what we are after. Uh, at this point, it is just put in a more in a way that is more manageable, and we also utilize our matrix representation. So, so this is what we actually do. Uh, we're going to proceed rather than dealing with equations themselves. Uh, this is what we're talking about: a vertical line B. It's called the augmented matrix. Unfortunately. Why well, unfortunately? Because it's not a matrix. Exclamation point. Okay, so uh, so it is just a convenient way of, of putting our system of matrix. Or not system, but rather... Why do I have an S, S there? One equation. Okay, so... Um, <coughs> It's just a convenient way of putting all the uh, data together in one bigger uh, table. So, uh, which is what, uh, in our particular case, uh, so I'm merging A and B. So, so it's it's really uncomplicated of of what you see on the uh, at the top. It will be what uh, one two three zero. That's A one two zero one negative one zero one one vertical line B101. Okay, so this is the augmented matrix of our system of equations. So as you can see, if you relate it to the last equation, it is you just read off that system, you read off the co coefficients, and, uh, and then instead of equ equal signs, we replace them with a vertical line. Okay, so it is purely um, a manipulative uh, choice, choice to, to follow um, that we make uh, because we want to we want to manipulate this data uh, by hand, okay? So, um, or by a computer, that, that doesn't matter, uh, but uh, we, we just want to want to do that. And the, uh, then instead of manipulating equations, we will be manipulating this matrix. But things match. Uh, things match perfectly. Uh, manipulation of the equations versus manipulation of, of the augmented matrix is uh, almost uh, uh, identical. So as an example, Well, let me, uh, 3x plus 4y is equal to 9, 5x plus 7y is equal to 2, that is my, my system, and then uh, I, I write the augmented matrix, 3, 4, 5, 7, line 9, 2. Okay, and then and then uh, the, the, when it's two by two, the, it's really um, not a challenge of what to do. Uh, but um, um, I think I made it more complicated than I wanted. Let me let me raise this five over here and make it one. Then okay, like this. Okay. Uh, okay, so so then uh, uh, let let's uh, let's uh, look at uh, what's on the left first, and the idea is uh, rather than trying to what we do don't, don't do uh, for certain reasons uh, we don't substitute. What, what we do do we uh, carrying out we carry out operations on the on the equations. Okay, so uh, so the goal is to eliminate eliminate x. How? 
multiply. Uh, well, well, let me put it th this way. Uh, first equation minus three times second equation. Right? You see how the we have a match of that three and one. So if I multiply the second one by three, there will be uh, there will be um, a cancellation. X will disappear. So I multiply the second by three, so it will be three x plus twenty one y plus six. Subtract. So I'll have zero here, and that is the elimination. X is gone, and I have uh, minus mi minus. Uh, what is it? 17y is equal to 3. Okay, so um, uh, uh, so let let's carry it out uh, that operation with the augmented matrix. So when when you and it can be it can be done as you can see if I just if I just look at uh, my computation on the right, I could do it with nothing but rows of, uh, of my uh, augmented matrix. So if this is R1 and this is R2, then what do I do? I take my R1 and I, I subtract the uh, 3 times R2. So 3, 4, 9, okay, vertically, vertical line, vertical line, and here I have uh, uh, 3, 21, 6. Subtract, I, I have once again this augmented type of, type of matrix, so it will be uh, 0, negative 17, and 3. So you already see the advantage is the competition is exactly the same, uh, in other words, with the same numbers, but what we do, uh, the advantage is we, we are throwing out uh, uh, x and y. It's as if we don't care what they're called, and why would we? We, we could change the name anytime we want, it is an unknown variable. So, uh, and, and the result is the same. So, so as you can see, there is a, a complete match between uh, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Okay, so the, uh, the key uh, step, however, so any questions about this? What, what has happened? Right, so it, it is purely <coughs> uh, a, a way to, uh, I'm not sure if a, com a probably computer wouldn't uh, necessarily um, appreciate it, um, or either would be especially convenient for a computer, but it's certainly a step in the right direction. Uh, so uh, for a computer, it's easier for it to manipulate data, uh, num nothing but numbers, as what we have on the right, rather than equations, because what is an equation, we don't know. Uh, augmented matrix is just a table, uh, and, and, and it turns out we can, we can carry out what, what operations on, the, uh, on those rows of that table, uh, as if we are doing it, what, what is it after all? This is as if um, vector algebra. That vertical line a little bit stands in the way, but if you want to, if, if you're willing to ignore it, it is entirely vector algebra. So we we multiply one vector by three and then subtract it. So R1 is one vector, R2 is the other vector, and we're looking at R1 and minus R3, R2. Okay, so uh, that's all there is. Uh, the key step is, however, what to do next, and that is uh, crucial. Um, uh, to solve an equation because it's not solved yet, uh, you, you can certainly guess what you would do in a, in a situation uh, of, uh, on, on the left. Uh, you would just substitute probably, right? So you solve for y, so it will be y is equal to negative 3 over 17, and, and then just substitute. That, that could, could have done that. It, it would naturally uh, for a person to do that, but we want to develop more of a method uh, so that uh, uh, an algorithm uh, for solving it, and, uh, and then that proceeds a little bit different. Uh, mm -hmm. So that we progress in a certain direction one improvement at a time, and that we have improved it, eliminating uh, x from one of the equations is the progress that it, progress that it have made, and then we want to write it uh, write it up. Okay, so to to demonstrate that that we we have made progress. So so how I repeat the first equation, and I take the last equation, uh, the new new last equation. So like this, negative seventeen y is equal to three. So that's a new system. A new improved system, right? So because in the last row there is no, uh, there is no x. Okay, so uh, it corresponds to a new and improved uh, augmented matrix. So uh, 
I just I keep the first one it, and I uh, have use the what we just discovered okay so what has happened is called uh, an elementary row operation Okay, so elementary row operation. So we treat the rows as if they were vectors, and then we do vector algebra on them. It has to be done carefully so that we would not lose any information. So in this particular case, it was hard to, for that to happen. But in general, we have to have to be very careful. That so that's why we want to progress one step at a time. And in every step, we want to make sure that we did not lose any information from from the previous situation. That's why I repeat the the first equation, and that's why we don't do substitution. Okay, so that, it, uh, this is a new uh, improved augmented matrix, and the more zeros we've got, uh, the, the better. Okay, so at this point, so uh, this is the notation, by the way, how it is, it is written. So um, R1, R2 are the, nos, the names of the, uh, of the two rows, and the, this is how we describe the result. R1 minus 3R2. So we looked at the, uh, our original augmented matrix, and then sometimes we carry out the, the whole operation in your head. It is possible, uh, and frequently that's the way it's done, even though probably not, not to be encouraged. Um, omitting, omitting those steps, yes. Um, what does it say, an elementary? Row operation. Uh, so operation on the row, and they are elementary in that sense that it is, uh, they are vector operations. So multiply, multiplying by a scalar, never multiply by zero, and uh, and then uh, add uh, add or subtract uh, from uh, from the other uh, equation uh, from the other row. Okay. So uh, so at, th at this point at this point is um, uh, how do we improve it? How do we improve the uh, uh, the uh, our system on the left or our made matrix on the right? How do we further improve it? And um, uh, the, the general answer is there are as many zeros as in many, in many ones as possible. Why? Because uh, ultimately the, the end result should be, if you think about it, should be where we're trying to drive at, x equal to, I don't know, 7, y is equal to 0. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that this is still two equations. This is still two equations, but it has, has uh, what are the coefficients? The coefficients are zeros and ones. Right? So once again, x equals 7, y equals 0, you can think, is the answer, possibly, right? But uh, the, uh, what we, the point is that there you can still think of them as, as a system of equations, and that we're what we're driving at. We're trying to, step by step, get to the simplest possible equation that we can, uh, we can achieve. So ideally, that's what we end up with. And what is uh, then, what is the so special about that uh, system of equation on the left is that it has, uh, it is what it is, 1x plus 0y is equal to 7, 0x uh, plus 1y is equal to 0. Okay, so as you can see, uh, yeah, there is only, on the, on the left, uh, there are only zeros and ones. So we, so that's the goal that is the, um, uh, what we were pursuing to create as many uh, zeros and ones as possible in the matrix through elementary row operations. Okay, so, so what, what I'm going to do is one, one of them is easy. How do I make uh, zeros and ones, uh, more zeros and ones in the, my augmented matrix? Uh, yes. Uh, Yeah, keep keep it eliminating. Yes, uh, but uh, there there is one intermediate step that we can k could make our life easier. It is it is we can have a one over there in the second row. In the second row, we can actually have uh, replace negative seventeen with one. With one, really elementary row operation. So. So what do I do? It, as if you were, you were, if you were solving this equation, you would say y is equal to negative. 3 over 17. So, well, but that's the same as, uh, as uh, 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 taking my equation and dividing it by 17. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the first equation, 3, 4, 9. 
and then I put here negative r1 r2 over 17 over yes okay so it will be 0 1 so that's the progress of having 1 uh, in the uh, we already have 0 now we have 1 in the in the second row and then uh, over here I'll have negative 3 over 17 okay and now that, that's the good thing about this one. This one will help us to eliminate more. Eliminate, what do we eliminate? Let me write the equation so we can still keep track of, of things. 3x plus 4y is equal to 9. That's the same thing. And here I have y is equal to negative uh, 3 over 17. Okay? So uh, what is there to eliminate? What? One. One? How do you eliminate one? Y. Uh, y. Yes, we can eliminate y from the first equation okay how well, one way is we certainly we would think about substitution like this we know what y is why not substitute but that's not so that's substitution but it is like I said we're trying to avoid substitution we want to do elementary row operation so one elementary row operation we're already done the second elementary operation is this and now uh, how do I eliminate four without substitution that's right, multiply the second, the second row by 4 and then subtract. So R1 minus 4 R2. That is the elementary row operation. I will keep the second one intact. So I'll set 0, 1, negative 3 over 17. And then uh, over here I will put uh, uh, R1 minus 4 R2. See how nicely things work out because the, uh, the first entry in the second row is zero, so that will not affect anything. So it will be simply, I will still have three here, right? So, I, I mean, let, let, let me carry out, let me do the... Um, let me progress this way and so that I can write that operation up. So I have uh, uh, three, uh, three, four, nine. Okay, uh, and then I'm surprised, and then I write four, so that's R one, and then four R two will be uh, zero, four, and and here I have uh, twelve, negative twelve over seventeen. Okay, so these are the two rows, and now I subtract them, and I, what I'm having is a three zero, and then nine minus twelve seventeen uh, plus. What is it? It's 10 and 517, I think. Okay, so, so then I know what to put. This will be 0. Look at the matrix, what it's turning to. And here I have 10 and 517. So we don't try to think about the right-hand side, that last column at all. What happens, happens. Our plan, our strategy is entirely about the matrix of coefficient. So we try to simplify it as much as possible. We almost have, right? There is one more row operation, number four. This is third. The fourth row operation is what? Divide the first one by three. So one third are one over here. And I don't do anything for the, to the second one. So it will be one, zero. Uh, uh, so what is what the hell is it? 175. What? Well, 175. One, 175 divided by 51. 51. Okay, it's it's uh, awkward, but that's that's fine. <coughs> okay, now what? That's the answer. That's right. So, so if you feel like it, you can go back and, and write the answer in the form of, of a system of equations again, right? Because uh, what is the what is that? It's literally x, x is equal to 175 over 51, and y is equal to negative 3 over uh, 17, and you can say that's the answer. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, so that's the plan um, uh, of row operations. Uh, it's called Gaussian elimination. And um, uh, interesting observation is 
is uh, uh, if we try to go backwards in, well, here's a question, what is this? What is this matrix? It is, it is the identity matrix, right? So what, 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 what is so special about the identity matrix? It has, well, the identity matrix is a matrix with all zeros and only ones on the, on the diagonal. Okay, so that is ideally what we want to see at the end of this uh, 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 <coughs> procedure. Uh, 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 but uh, why, why do we care about the uh, identity matrix? Well, what is it as, as a function? Right, it is the function that doesn't change anything. That, that is the identity function or identity matrix is the same thing. It is, uh, uh, it, it is uh, well, if you multiply by the identity matrix, what are you going to get? You're going to get the same, same vector. So, so like i, x is equal to x. Okay, so if i is the identity matrix of any size, uh, then it gives you, uh, gives you x as the output. So it's literally the, this trivial function. Okay, so, um, okay, I'll just see you Wednesday.